Hey guys, welcome to the 188th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our reader class. And really, all that we're going to be doing here is just reading different data types. So let's just jump right into it here. Uh, the first data type that we're going to be reading is a byte. So we're just going to say public byte, since we want it to return a byte that is read. And I'm just going to call this method read byte, since that's what we're going to be doing. So read byte. All right. And all we're going to have it do is just read a byte at the current position and then return it. So we're just going to say right here, return br.readByte. Alright, so you're probably thinking, well, this is stupid. Why are we even creating a reader class if, it, if we're just using the binary readers class and it's returning whatever it reads? Well, you're partially right. For this method, we don't really have to do anything. But for all the other methods that we're going to be doing, for all the other data types that we're going to be reading, for sign byte, for all the integers and stuff, we're going to have to change uh, how the method works and what it does. It's going to be different than the uh, binary reader class. All right, so what you're going to probably want to do here is just give a nice summary of what this method actually does. Now, I'm not going to uh, do that out for every method, but one thing that you're going to want to remember is whenever it reads a value, it advances the current position by 1. So if the current position of the binary reader right now is like 100, and it read another byte, it would be 101. All right, and you should probably say that in your summary. All right, so the next data type that we're going to be reading is a signed byte or an S byte. So we're just going to say public S byte or signed byte, and then we're just going to call this method read S byte, since that, that's what we're going to be doing, reading a signed byte at the current position. And then we're just going to say return byte. All right, well, we can't just say byte since this will just return a regular byte. We actually have to turn it into a signed byte. And we're just going to cast it as a signed byte. So we're just going to say s byte right there. And I'll just convert the byte that it returns, the regular byte that it returns, into a signed byte. All right, and like I said, you're just going to probably have a summary of what this method actually does. OK, now we're going to want to get into reading the integers. So the first integer that type that we're going to be reading is an int 16 or a short. So we're just going to say public short, since we're going to be reading an int 16, and short and int 16 are the same. And then we're just going to call this method read int 16. And we're need, not going to need the user to pass through any parameters, so we're just going to leave that blank. All right, so we're just going to say right here, short my short equals br.read and then an int 16. And remember, the binary reader defaultly reads um, integers in little endian. So inside of the file, if there was an int 16 or a short right there that was just like 78, um, 65 or something, it would read 65, 78. And that's not what we want. So since it's defaultly big endian, we're going to want to check to see if the byte order is big endian. And if it is, we're going to want to reverse it. So let's say right here that it read this value as an int 16. So it would have read 6578 since it defaultly reads it in the little endian. And what we're going to want to do is reverse it. So it will actually read 7865. So we're just going to say right here, byte array buff equals bit converter dot get bytes. And that would be from that short right there, so my short. And then we're just going to want to reverse this array. So we're just going to say array dot reverse. And then we're just going to want to reverse that buff right there, that buffer. And then we're going to want to say um, my short equals uh, bit uh, converter dot two and then int 16. So it's going to convert this byte array buffer back into an int 16. So, so we're just going to want to put buff in here. And then as the second parameter, just the index and the byte array that we wanted to start reading at or start converting at, and that would just be zero. All right. So basically what this does right here is it converts this short right here into a byte array. So now this byte array reads 6578. And basically we want it to reverse that byte array so that now it reads 7865. And now we're just converting that byte array back into a short. So now this byte array, should, or this uh, short, should read 78, 65. So just the way it should be in big endian. 
but we only want it to reverse it if the uh, way that the user wants us to read is lit or is big endian. So we're going to say if byte order equals byte order dot big endian, then we're going to do this. Well, otherwise, just leave it be because it defaultly reads it in little endian. And then we're just going to want to return that short right there. So return my short. All right, and then you're going to want to do this for all the integers. And I'm not going to go through every single one of them because it's just a matter of changing um, the types. So if we were to do read uh, uint 16 right here, we would just say read uint 16, u short, u short, my u short. Now we're just going to want to read a uint 16 instead of a regular int 16. We have to change all these to my u short, and then you have to convert it into a uint 16. So it's great basically just uh, changing everything that has to do with a data type into the different ones. So we just change everything that had to do with an int 16 into a uint 16 or an unsigned int 16. And you're going to want to do that for int 16, uh, int 32, and an int 64. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll have those all done, so you should too. Alright, so see you guys.